And now your host, real estate broker, consultant, and best-selling author, Todd Tremonti. What is up, party people? What is up? I posted on social media this week a video, and a guy from another agent from another market was like, hey, where'd your what's up, party people intro go? I was like, well, I don't do it every time. But what is up, party people? Welcome to DFW Real Estate. Uh, We are talking all things DFW Real Estate. That's what we do here on the show every Saturday right here, same time, same place. And if you're catching the podcast... Uh, we give you some bonus content, so check that out wherever you check out podcasts, DFW Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremonti. You can search my name or that big, long title, but we're talking all things real estate for Dallas-Fort Worth folks, and we do it every week right here on the radio from our Keen Landscaping Studios, and then we do all kinds of additional stuff on the YouTube channel, social media, podcast, all that. So find us all those places. Usually the easiest thing to do is just to search my name. We're going to get into some some info here in a little bit about selling and buying over the summer. What does that timeline look like? What are the constraints? What are the advantages you should look for? And what are the huge mistakes people are making? Before we do that, though, I want to let you know that coming up pretty quickly on the on the show today, we're going to see if we can catch uh, Jordan Collins, vice president over at PMR Roofing. He's out running around taking care of people that got hit by hail in the last week in that Allen Plano Fairview 121 corridor. Uh, We're going to try to tie him in on a cell phone call and talk to him about what you should do or what you should know uh, if you got some of that hail or if you're on the edge and you're not quite sure. Uh, They've been helping dozens and dozens and dozens of our clients and friends and past clients and neighbors, as well as a couple of our team members uh, lately, too. So we want you to know what you need to know uh, about hail and your home what you should and shouldn't do and how you can really, really goof this up if you get it in the wrong order. So we'll we'll get him on the line a little bit later in the show and uh, and we'll run through there. If you've got questions, you can call or text 214-310-0008. That's 214-310-0008 or online, as my son says. Touchmoneyteam.com. Hey, Top. Hey, I just wanted to unmute you there, but I, I wanted to it. let it take a few seconds. Just to, It's good professionalism. The Yanni have. Donnie, folks, the English wonder himself, not super optimistic about uh, the English footy at the moment and still nursing a bit of a hand injury, but playing hurt. He's here uh, and ready to show up. Hey, thank you to all our veterans and servicemen and women. God bless Memorial America Day. and all. Listen, Memorial Day is a weird holiday for me because... I'm celebrating uh, my 19th anniversary to my delightful wife. Man, lots of credit to her for putting up with me. But uh, it's also Memorial Day, and um, she and I have been together so long. We have a lot of mutual friends that have served, that did not come home. Uh, and and it's, uh, it's terribly sad, but it's also part of what makes this incredible country great is that people are willing to to lay down their lives so that we can live lives that really no one in human history has been able to live. Uh, I was at the Berkshire Hathaway shareholder event a couple of weeks ago. I've talked about it a couple of times now. Um, and the, the, what, what was brought up was that like the average American right now lives better than John D. Rockefeller lived in the 1930s. Like the wealthiest man that had ever lived ever. Who's that? Most of us live a better, more comfortable technologically advanced, safer, better food options, air conditioning, toilets, transportation, all the things. Um, And so much of that has to do with the fact that uh, our men and women in our military and their families and their support groups that all really serve together um, provide for us. And and we take a moment just to remember uh, those that gave the ultimate sacrifice so that we could have these freedoms of home ownership and recreation and, and, religious and political and, and health freedoms, all, all the amazing, we don't live in a perfect country, but uh, we live in a country that offers us some pretty incredible lives. And, and much of that is to do with people that are willing to defend it and protect it uh, and, and lay their lives down for us. So we are grateful and we are thankful uh, for a country where we have the freedoms to do that. We thank God. We thank the men and women that, that have served in that way. Hey, I'm excited because after the show today, I get to see my parents for the first time in four years. Let's take 10 seconds to celebrate that because it's been four years because of COVID and life and expensive travel and travel restrictions and all those things that 
you hear me say the Yanni Donny, the English wonder, obviously he's from, well, it's not that obvious, but the accent gives you away a little bit that you're from England. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, you go there every so often. Your family comes here every so often. And it's been four years. We're excited, man. We're yeah. pumped that you're going to get to connect and put your hands around your mom and dad's neck. And they're going to get to see the grandkids and all those good things. They're going to get to see the giants that have become their grandkids over the last four years. Golly, I can't imagine. My mom is now the shortest member of our family. Mm, I'm sure your kids, I'm not going to name they your kids. names. Very you're going to really enjoy that. All right. Let's get to, uh, let's get to the state of the market. Where are we sitting right now? What are we seeing? Um, what trends do we believe is going to be happening over the, the summer months? Well, let's do that. First, this first segment is brought to you by Patrick Gleros and his crew of mortgage advisors over at Cardinal Financial. Uh, Patrick and his team do what they do and have done what they do for the entirety of my real estate career. They have been our preferred lender. They have been my personal lender. Patrick has done the mortgage on every house I've ever had a mortgage on. And um, my wife and I call and text Patrick when we have mortgage questions. And that's what you should do. That's what the vast majority of our clients and team members do. Uh, you can call him right now, 972-728-3420, or you can go to his website day or night, anytime, from any device, patrickglaros.com. That's G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickglaros.com, for all your mortgage needs. NMLS number 308804, patrickglaros.com. Now, the state of the market at the moment is schizophrenic. I don't know that I could spell that word entirely correctly, even though I was a psychology major twice in college, Ian. We could play that game. Schizophrenic. Um, it's all over the place. We have a morning huddle every day. Uh, we, Monday through Thursday, we do a morning huddle um, where our team members are together in the same room and a few our Fort Worth team through Zoom. And we are talking about literally what happened to the previous day. So we can all have our finger on the pulse of the market. Offers, contracts, negotiations, big wins, setbacks, all those kind of things. And on any given day lately, one of our team members will say, hey, we got an offer in. We were one of eight. It went 65 over. And someone else will say, I made an offer on a property that's been sitting for 65 days. So schizophrenic means we are statistically still in a seller's market. We are statistically in a higher interest rate market than we've been in in a decade, but not necessarily an, uh, an unfairly high. We're nowhere near the absurdly high rates we've seen in the past. But so we'll see a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and we'll see it within 10 minutes. But we, we certainly live in the now though, right? So when we're seeing interest rates in six, six and a half, seven, like that is substantially higher than we were seeing last year. No doubt about ridiculously it. Ridiculously low. And like that was, that was yeah. unsustainable by itself. But yes, I mean, we're definitely seeing higher than we've seen in what, a decade? Ish. Yeah. You're not wrong to pause there and go, hey, that's not fun. That there's a reality there that last year, let's say my payment was 2000 and this year it could be 2200 to 2500 depending, right? And that's just a made up number. But the range is, you know, people are seeing their monthly payment uh, 10 to 20% higher based on the rates being higher. Uh, and some, some less, some more. But the point is, we're nowhere near the 17, 18, 19% rates of the 80s and all that jazz. It doesn't make you feel any better. But the fact is, statistically... We are in a seller's market, meaning we still have relatively low inventory and we still have home values generally rising. Are there some exceptions? Are there some flat areas? Yes. But that is the mathematical state of the market. Now, what's actually happening out there? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Happy buyers, sad buyers. Happy sellers, sad sellers. Confused buyers, confused sellers. It's all over the place. And I think the majority of that has to do with preparation, the right real estate advisor, the right mortgage lender, right title company, right inspector, appraiser, all those things. And that real estate is hyper local. One neighborhood acts differently than another neighborhood. One price point acts differently than another price point. One thing we may talk about a little bit later in the show is that the higher end of the market right now is actually doing better in some ways than the middle of the market. The lowest price points in Dallas Fort Worth are always active because the most people. The highest percentage of the population can afford and transact those deals. And we have a big enough market that there's almost always activity at the entry level. Well, let's break down um, timelines that people are seeing right now, both on the buy side and the sell side. So let's let's talk sellers first. Okay. So what's a, what's a realistic time frame 
that somebody that's thinking about selling needs to prepare themselves for from you know getting the house ready to go on the market um to when it actually goes live for sale and people can now begin to go and see it like what 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 is yep. reasonable for people to expect so it's almost june right very end of may and and here's how this looks on it on the average okay now there are real estate agents that if you are willing to hire them, meaning they're not bringing a lot to the table, they're just glad to have you as a client, they'll put a sign in your yard today, right? So technically speaking, you could be quote on the market today. That's a really bad way to do it with zero preparation, zero strategy, zero market analysis, but sign in the yard, property on the internet can be done in a day. Uh, let's call it a week though. Let's just say that to do it right and prepare could happen in a week. It, you might need three weeks if you need to do some major repairs or get your ducks in a row or get your family and your finances prepared or whatever the case is. But let's just say a week. Currently, the average days on market is higher than we've seen in a while, but it's still not absurdly high. Yeah, like in Plano, I'm looking at, this was the report that we did, um, on, it came out May 1st. Early May, yeah. Yep, and 400 to 500 is... Um, we're right at 20 days. For now, what homes he, what Ian is saying is homes priced 400,000 to 500,000. Yeah. Uh, currently, the average days on market was 20 days. Over the over the past six months, the average days on market was 31. You go up $100,000, you're at 45 days. You go up another 100,000, you're back at 31 days. So somewhere right around a month to a yeah, month and a half. 20 to 40 ish days in the most active price points in one of the most active areas of DFW. So in the Plano area, if you're talking about a home, you know, kind of 300 and something thousand to 500 and something thousand in that general range, 20 something to 40 something days, let's call it 30 as an average, but that's really not how it works. We don't want to average like all of Plano. And when most of the stats you see in the newspaper or on the media are like all of DFW, which is just an absurd average because almost none of the specific communities inside DFW will reflect that that number. It, you're seeing a wide spectrum of price ranges and geographies and school districts and all this stuff. Yeah, and Plano's kind of the lowest one as I'm looking through all the different cities that we've got. You know, Richardson's a little bit higher. Uh, Frisco and Allen, McKinney, they're all up around kind of mid-30s to mid-40s. Right. So yeah, Plano seems to a be month, the lowest right A month-ish, right, is what we're saying. Let's call it, you know, 20-something to 40-something days um, with some areas being closer to 30, some areas being a little bit closer to 40. Now, the point is those are still seller's market numbers. That's still, historically speaking, a pretty quick turnaround to put your house on the market and within a month or so, having it sold. I've certainly been an active real estate agent uh, in extreme buyer's markets where six months was not all that uncommon to sell a home. So this is still very, very quick in the history of things. But we're so used to, in DFW, the language being a few days or a week, <coughs> that now that feels longer. The, the citywide averages were never a few days or a week. Those were relatively common stories within the broad averages. But to your point, within the last six months or so, the average was still 31-ish days in Plano. Now, there were periods where that number got down as low as like 19, uh, and there were periods where it got up into the 40s a little bit higher. So all that to say, the general stats are still that sellers have a negotiating strategic advantage. But buyers have a much better go of things than they have in quite a while, but not quite as good as they did when we were hollering at you during the late fall and winter and late winter months. But we've headed into the well into the spring and now into the summer market where the stereotypes say everybody come out of the woodwork now. And because of that, we're seeing more traditional activity from buyers and sellers, even though the market numbers don't necessarily force you to do that. All that to say, Statistically, we're in a seller's market. We are still seeing prices rise, not nearly as fast as they were a couple of years ago. But in most areas, prices are still rising fairly well. And we're seeing buyers a lot of the time have to compete over houses, but not all of the time. And we're seeing some properties really well marketed, but most properties aren't superbly marketed. So there's opportunity out there to win when selling and buying for sure. And we're helping clients do that right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the absorption rate, which is, you know, if no new homes came on the market, how many homes, how long would we have? And so we had zero homes for sale in that price point in that city. Back, you know, early 2022, we were looking at like 0 0.1. Like we were counting weeks, days. not months. Yeah. yeah. Right now, 
depending on where you're at, you're, you're somewhere right around five to seven weeks worth of inventory, right. maybe a month. Um, but you know more than that. And so there's definitely more opportunity for buyers, um, but it's also definitely still a sales market. Hey, before we talk about um, specifics on the buy side timeline, yep. uh, what should somebody do if they have not looked at their insurance recently? Look, look at their insurance. And okay. I would suggest that they do that with Goosehead Insurance and go. DP Lambert, which again, that's who I do that with, right? Uh, we're, we're in the process of a couple of real estate transactions right now. And DP Lambert and his crew over at Goosehead Insurance are insuring all of those properties. And um, by the way, Goosehead has some of our commercial, has all of our commercial insurance that they can cover uh, all of it. Um, so they're an unbelievable, Goosehead, by the way, is an unbelievably reliable company. DP Lambert is an unbelievable representative and communicator and organizer of details. He's diligent to follow up. He's detail oriented. He's going to get you more coverage for a lower premium. So he's going to save you money as often as humanly possible and make sure that you have great coverage. Now you can get on the internet and scout insurance and find cheaper pricing sometimes and have no idea how you got to that cheaper price. And you may be giving up coverage. Other times you can add coverage and have, uh, have to go up in cost. What DP is so good at is that regularly helping you shop that. He can be your insurance advisor and insurance pro for the next 30 years. Even though you might change carriers every year or two, he can shop you with dozens of carriers and still be your go-to real estate ex uh, uh, insurance expert. And that's what he is for me. That's what he is for Ian. That's what he is for hundreds and hundreds of our clients, team members, friends, neighbors. Just email him, dp.lambert at goosehead.com, dp.lambert at goosehead.com. And if you ever forget his info or anybody's info, just go to toddtremontyteam.com, click on the radio tab, and you can find all of the information for all of the pros we talk to here on the show. How long should somebody be giving themselves that they're thinking of buying? And I'm specifically here thinking about um, somebody that doesn't have a home to sell necessarily. Okay. But they maybe they're in, maybe they're in a lease or something like that. It's like when when should somebody be starting the process? Yeah. So th there's no like um, right or wrong, but assuming that you're a fairly normal buyer process, you need about 90 days to assume that you can get everything done that you need to get done to be into a new home. So regardless of when your lease ends. If you were to say, I want to be living in, sleeping in, eating in the kitchen of my new home by this date, then I want you to back up 90 days from that date. Doesn't mean you have to spend 90 days, but that's a reasonable amount of time. And let me tell you the things that need to happen during that time. You need to find a real estate advisor that you really can trust, an advisor that is not just like lives in that neighborhood, but that knows what they're doing, that has a track record of success, that does not work alone. If they're on vacation or they're in the hospital with their kid or whatever, somebody can back them up and make sure that your transaction still goes through and you're well protected. Ideally, it's an agent that can access properties that are not publicly available all over the internet already. And somebody that you enjoy being around because you're going to spend some time with them that you can trust and enjoy and they can make your life easier and honestly make buying fun. So you need about 90 days to find that person to begin to look online, to speak to a lender. I recommend Patrick Glaros um, to find out what you could comfortably afford, not just what the math says, but what you could comfortably afford to scout out some areas, to narrow in some areas, to go out and actively look at in the home of the final contenders. It shouldn't be 30 or 40 houses. It should be three, four or five final contenders only negotiate. Ideally, you get the one you want the first time, but you need to build in some time that you might wisely with discipline pass on one or two if the numbers get out of your comfortable range and factor in the time to do that. Factor in time for inspections and appraisals, surveys, all those things, and be prepared that if something were to happen, you want to have provided enough time in your calendar that you, have, you could comfortably back out and go find another one. And you don't feel pressured to deal with issues and problems that you otherwise wouldn't want to because you didn't give yourself enough time. Then you want to make sure you have time for financing approval, appraisals, any repairs that may need to be done. We just had a bunch of hail. Sometimes a hailstorm or things like that could slightly delay a closing because the seller might need to swap out a roof or something. You want to build in time 
to allow for the transaction to go really well and protect you and your family and your finances if those things are involved. Now, you don't always need that much time, but if you can give yourself that much time, that is a really wise time frame. Now, in an absolute pinch, if everything goes well, you could get that done in, say, 24, 25, 26 days. But a lot of things need to be lined up and go well to do that. It is not at all wise to expect that time frame to happen. On the flip side, some people just do not find a home they love, do not find a home that fits their price range. Sometimes it's six months. So the more time, the better. You cannot start the process too early, but a lot of people start that process too late. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've had family members that have started it too late, and we've had friends that have started it too late, and we say over and over and over again. <laughs> if only you had told them. <laughs> you cannot start too early, but you can you can start too late, and people then feel pressured and rushed, and then that's when people will make a, a bad decision on a home that they want to purchase, and they'll convince themselves that it's something that they should be getting, and then we can really. we compare this all the time. It's like a child in the checkout line of the grocery store, right? It's the impulse of the moment that causes you to make bad choices, right? Yeah. The, this candy bar in a lot of situations is 75 cents, but right now it's a dollar 85 and I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. Well, you're a grown up and you might put yourself in a situation where you do that with a house. And it's not the difference in a $1 and 10 cents. It's the difference in $110,000. It's the difference in liability. It's the difference in where, you're, where you lay your head at night, where you educate your children, where you invest in your marriage and your friendships and your safety and security and rest and recreation and all those things. Because it's not just the beds, the baths, the square footage. It's where life happens. And it deserves more of your time and intention. So if you're thinking about buying or selling anytime in the next year, I want you to reach out to our team and we will have those conversations early with you so that you can feel more clarity, more confidence, more calm around your buying or selling experience. You can call us at 214-310-0008, 214-310-0008, call or text. You can talk to Ian. You can hear the soothing English tones of the Yanni Donny. Or like my son says, you can go to the website. ToddTremontyTeam.com. ToddTremontyTeam.com. Anytime, day or night. Or if you don't remember any of that somehow, just Google my name, Todd Tremonti. You'll find our website. You'll find something that is helps you find us. Fill out any form, call or text any phone number, click any button, contact us, whatever's easiest for you and your timeline. If you're not ready to talk to us, that's fine. You can search homes on the website all on your own. You can just text us until you're ready. We could jump on Zoom. We can get you on the phone. We can get you in the office. We have an office in Richardson, an office in Fort Worth. And we would be glad to serve you in a way that is valuable for you and your family and your finances earlier as opposed to later. That's what we want to do. We want to be a value to you, whether you're buying or selling or not. Call or text 214-310-0008 or go online to toddtremontyteam.com. Now is the time of the year, if you haven't already, to check your landscaping, check your walkways, check your retaining walls, trim those trees, and keen landscaping is who I want you to do that with. That's who I do that with. Um, they've done some warranty work, some new installs, and they're looking at some cool new stuff to do with us at our new home. You can call them 972-424-4851. You can go to keenlandscaping.com. That's K-E-A-N-E, keenlandscaping.com. Again, if you're thinking about buying or selling or selling and buying, go to toddtremonteteam.com. Coming up right after the break, we're going to get PMR Roofing on the line and talk to them about what should I do if I got hail in this recent hailstorm or what should I tell my friends and neighbors if I got hail during this recent hailstorm? We'll be right back with more. DFW Real Estate Weekly. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Keen Landscaping Studios. Coming up in just a couple of minutes, we're going to have PMR Roofing on the line, on the phone from out in the field. They're out running around, putting tarps on houses, protecting people's homes who got major hail damage in the Allen, Plano, Fairview, kind of 121 Northeast DFW corridor this last week. We're going to jump on the phone and talk to them quite a bit. Uh, we were... We were going out uh, when we went to the break. We were talking about buying and selling and what's going on this summer. We'll get to that here in a minute. But uh, we're heading into our June peanut butter and jelly drive. You're going to hear a lot about that over the next month. I do want you to participate. I don't have time to do a ton about it today, but I get angry every summer and I get excited every summer. I get angry because there are children and elderly folks and others who don't know where their next meal is coming from. And that's just stupid. 
It just is. We are an affluent, generous community, and we can feed our people. So we want you to partner with us on that. We're going to tell you a lot more about it as we go through the month of June. But right now, if you have Venmo, you can Venmo 20 bucks, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever you can afford, whatever you want to do. Last year, we had several people, $1,000, $2,500. Just Venmo at PBJ Drive, whatever amount. If you give a solid amount, we'll send you a gift. I'm not even going to tell you what it is because I don't want you to give for the gift. I want you to give to feed our friends and neighbors. At PBJ Drive on Venmo or pbjdrive.com is the website, pbjdrive.com. This first segment brought to you as always by Patrick Glos and his team over at Cardinal Financial. Uh, for all of your mortgage needs, whether you're looking at buying a new home, whether you're looking at refinancing, if you're looking to maybe get into uh, purchasing an investment property, Patrick and his team is who you need to speak to. Go to patrickgleros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S.com, patrickgleros.com. You can start an application right there on the website. You can call them at 972-728-3420, NMLS number 308-804. All right. So when we went to the break, we were talking about the difference in selling and buying. I want to talk really quickly about if you're doing both. If you're doing both of those things in the current market, you probably need to, if you want that done before the end of summer, we need to speak immediately is my point, right? Because that you're it's going to take you at least 90 days in a normal situation to plan out the process of selling, the process of buying, execute both of those things without you losing sleep at night out of fear and uncertainty. For a lot of people, that's already kind of scaring you that the kids are already back in school. It can certainly be done in less time, but in a perfect world, we give ourselves 90 days to get that done. Hey, and if you're going to do both, you want to have a really good title company that is going to be there with you all along the way. Republic Title are one of the leaders in the industry. Uh, they are fantastic at what they do. They're organized, they get the job done, and they make sure that all things are well and good with your transactions so that nothing is going to come up later on. Go to republictitle.com where you can find out more information about what all they offer, republictitle.com. All right, we're going to get our buddy Jordan Collins from PMR Roofing on the line. They've been running all over DFW, taking care of our team members, our clients, our friends and neighbors after this hail that we got last weekend. Let's see if we can get him on the line really quickly. This is Jordan. Hey, we it worked. Hooray. What's up, Jordan? All right. Uh, we're glad to pipe you in on the show here real quick. I know you guys are out running around, so we didn't want to interrupt uh, you serving clients and friends and neighbors, but we did want to get you on the show here. So uh, real quick, by the way, we got Jordan Collins from PMR Roofing. If you need roofer help and you're about to find out if you do, just go to PMRRoofing.com. Make sure you uh, you ask for Jordan. Um, what is what is going on, buddy? What What's happened here recently? Who needs to be heads up? Give us the rundown. Yeah, it's wild. It's, uh, I played golf Friday morning, and I'm just uh, rocking along and uh, – Dennis and hanging out at home and then uh, doing some work and then realized that a storm is coming and then our world was kind of turned upside down. Uh, I inspected 25 roofs on Saturday Wow. Uh, from 7 a.m. to about 8 p.m. and uh, all but one of those roofs were totaled and damaged, uh, needing full replacement. So uh, I've been out and about right now. I just pulled up in front of a Todd Tremonte sign that uh, there's a, a good uh, sign. house that Jeremy Payne is selling on uh, right in the middle of this where this hail pour was. And uh, in order to make sure his transaction goes smoothly, I'm going to hop up on there and see what's going on with it. But uh, it's been busy. Allen and Plano are the two areas that uh, were most affected. Kind of that. 121 corridor right almost everything between uh say dallas north tollway and central 75 expressway south side of 121 or both sides what do we what's the specific both sides okay. um really all yes both sides but it does go up basically 121 all the way you know the 75 and safety uh 75 and exchange but uh for the most part those folks that live uh, central, North Central Plano, um, and then it it, uh, it even goes across 75. So um, over into was, Fairview, it, a lot of folks were affected. Yep, all all the way to Fairview. Okay, so this storm was so intense, people pretty what? people pretty much know if they got hit, right? I mean, only one of the 26 or whatever you saw 
wasn't totaled. But if you're unsure, maybe you were out of town or maybe you just couldn't tell how significant it was. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong here, Jordan, but if you're in, if you're east of Dallas North Tollway and west of Central or even a little bit east of Central, anywhere near that 121 corridor, north or south, you really ought to have somebody take a look at your roof. Is that is that a good summary? That's a great summary. Yes, there's it was wild. I mean, if you, a lot of folks uh, cars are totaled. Their all their windshields are busted out. Windows from their house. Uh, so a lot of people see all that, and then they look up and they're like, "Well, I don't have any leaks on my roof, but you know, I had tennis balls that were flying through my car." Um, right. That's kind of a really need us to go up and take a look at it. There are some of those folks that are in that area that had plastic vents on their roof, and those look like Swiss cheese and are yeah. going to have uh, are going to leak the next rain. So we did a lot of. The last two days, we've been doing a lot of temporary repairs to make sure people are dried in. So at least uh, we need to hop up on your roof before you call your insurance company to make sure that, uh, you know, just better safe than sorry, make sure that it is a claimable event, and uh, then we can help moving forward. Let me let me back you up just a minute. You talked about um, doing temporary fixes to get people dried in. What is how important is that? Because I think a lot of people are thinking, "Shoot, I need a whole new roof," and they may be not thinking, "If it rains again on Thursday, what's going to happen?" Right? You know, they, they don't see the holes, they don't see the leaks, but they don't realize that the Swiss cheese is up there, and it might be sixty days before a full claim process. I'm just making numbers up. You can correct me before a full claims process and you know new roof gets put on. But between now and then you need to protect your home. So what do you mean when you say temporary fix or get dried in? Yeah. So a lot of these homes, especially in Allen uh, and parts of Plano that are new construction, this is uh, the original roof that was put on when the house was built. Uh, builders oftentimes use kind of builder grade uh, roofing material. And one of uh, those aspects happens to be the, the low profile vents. They're plastic. Um, they, literally uh have holes and so water will go through uh those vents where the holes are where it used to be completely watertight and will um depending on how heavy the rain is cause some pretty significant damage into your attic into your drywall your ceilings all of that kind of stuff and you're talking about we have a vents that are normally to let air out like a bathroom vent or a vent hood or your dryer vent you know those kinds of things now yeah. they're just wide open or they have cracks or at least, you know, with that size hail that got there, they're, they're huge holes. Now water, even a light rain, water comes in and goes the wrong way and then gets into the wall, gets into the floors, gets into the appliances, that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, that's it. And uh, your insurance company, well, we always take pictures before and after of the before the picture. And then once we repair it, uh, after and then uh, your insurance company will pay for those temporary repairs because they really love the fact that we are uh, being proactive and getting uh, mitigating the damage that's going to be occurring because of uh, an additional rainstorm. Well, you're and then you're forward, helping you're protecting them from having to cover even more secondary exactly. damage, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, that's exactly right, Todd. And then uh, when going back uh, after when we replace the roof, we're going to install metal vents. So you wouldn't, you know, knock on wood, if there was another storm that came through at any point, uh, you wouldn't have to worry about uh, water coming in through those vents. Well, let's take a 20-second timeout from the hailstorm issue. You guys just put a brand new roof on my house that we're currently we did. Bu- that we're currently building. And look, I know more about roofing than the average person, but I'm not you. I'm not an expert on roofing. It's not my main thing. But I can tell you that, there were things I didn't even ask for that you guys did on my roof just because you said that's just the right way to do it. And so I trust y'all enough to say, look, put the roof on my house that you would want to put on your house. And I learned about my own roof after it was installed because of exactly what you just said. Hey, you don't want plastic here because of this reason. Uh, You want metal. Hey, this flashing is just better, cost a tiny bit more, but it's 10 times safer, better, going to last long. You know, all those things that I don't know. I don't even know to ask for. And so, A, if you're putting on a new roof, there's that factor. And then back to the hail conversation, 
you know, it, 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 it will protect you from having to have quite as much of an emergency temporary fix type deal as well, if I'm saying that accurately. No, you're absolutely right. All of that is true. The upgrades we provide, like, I can tell you, like, as as we speak, Todd, we are fabricating uh, black metal uh, flashing in our shop that we do in-house. And we have a shop that is uh, only purpose is to fabricate the metal that we install uh, that will be going on your house. So we are finishing that up. It's counter flashing. It's going to look really nice, but it's also going to protect uh, you and your family for years to come. Well, thank you. That's beautiful. All right. Who else in town has a custom metal fabrication shop tied to their roofing business? <laughs> not a lot. Uh, we. I don't know of any. Not a lot of folks. Yeah, we we do it in our shop, and then we also uh, we'll do on site as well. Uh, we'll bend it sometimes on site, but uh, no, it's. Uh, I, I know of I know of a couple we'll... roofers that when they buy the flashing at Home Depot or the roofer supplier will bend <laughs> it on the tailgate of their truck. But I, I, I don't know any others that are like, we have full-time employees that create parts and pieces to customize for yeah. roofs and uh, custom colors, custom materials, uh, because we know, hey, this region that has these kinds of roofs that were built this way all need these products. Now let's churn out a bunch of them. I just, you know, that's the kind of thinking that creative entrepreneurial, you know, community builders think and i know that's how you know pmr is run with quentin and the and all you guys over there um and that's just not your typical roofer your typical roofer is you know kind of an opportunistic and i'm not even talking about the the bad ones i'm just you know are just trying to kind right. of churn deals they're all really excited that hail came because of the opportunity right. and you guys you know there's nothing wrong with being happy about the business but you guys are committed to doing it right and serving people and that's where that's where these innovations I'm, come from which is i i appreciate yeah I Absolutely. We've got uh, Francisco Arias, who's our, uh, he's our head of commercial and head of our metal fabrication. He's kind of been known around Dallas for years and years as uh, one of the best metal people. Uh, we brought him in house. He's a full-time employee with us. And so we stay busy year round. So even if uh, a hailstorm comes about, fortunately, we have really great project managers like Eric Sutton, Brian Breeze, George Palmer, those guys have been out and about since this hailstorm hit, but they were busy uh, beforehand. So uh, it kind of just shows you that we're not a fly-by-night. We're not crossing our fingers depending on a hailstorm. Uh, some of these folks, a lot of them are second-time customers where we replaced their roof in Allen in 2017 after a hailstorm, and they just, you know, send one of us a text and say, yep, we looks like we got hit again. Get us on your schedule to come take a look at it. And then uh, – We'll yep. get those folks taken care of. And, love it. Uh, that's, that's who we are. Yep, I love it. And that's what we tell people. You need a roofer that can shake your hand, look you in the eye, and be there next year. You know, it's PMRRoofing.com. Okay, real quick, how can people get a hold of you or your your crew uh, at PMR? Yeah, so if they have either uh, thinks that they may need emergency uh, services, we have. they can call me at 214 or text me 214 nine five seven zero eight three nine and that's the quickest way for me to dispatch uh we've got emergency crews right now um doing covering tarps covering skylights covering vents all those kind of things and then also if you would like an inspection i will also uh dispatch like i said one of those guys brian eric or george who uh been with us for a long time all three of them are uh, three of the best I've seen uh, at doing this and at assessing damage and are, like you said, are very, very honest and trustworthy and in it for the long haul. So I will then uh, have one of them reach out to you and right. we can get the ball rolling. Let me interrupt you so I can brag on you real quick. Yes, okay, sir. Jordan, Thank you. Jordan's, a, Jordan's a vice president. We know the ownership. It's just these are, the, these are good people. You're hearing things from Jordan that you don't hear from a typical roofer. So real fast, write this phone number down. Or type it into your phone if you think you might need help at all. 214-957-0839. 214-957-0839. And what Jordan can do is either he, he himself come out or send one of the project managers out. These are full-time employees. These are not like call a random contractor, subcontractor, crew. 
These are full-time people that have been trained and equipped and work together and have a shared vision to care for people in the community. I've met these people. They come to our client events. They come by the office. We've had meals together. These are, these are people, real people, full-time in our community. These are not opportunistic roofers that come over from Arkansas and Louisiana and Oklahoma just because there's some opportunity here. These are full-time members of the PMR roofing family and our North Texas family that want to do the right thing. And they want to be here for the third time, right? You heard Jordan talk about second time from the last hailstorm. These are the guys that you're going to call for the rest of your home ownership life. 214-957-0839. That'll get you in touch with Jordan, who we're talking to right now, right here on uh, DFW Real Estate Weekly. And then also, if you forget that, which I know a lot of people are driving, a lot of people are running around town. If you forget 214-957-0839, then just go to pmrroofing.com. pmrroofing.com. Track down a phone number or an email or whatever and just ask for Jordan and make sure that you make your way over to Jordan. They'll get you to the right place. Uh, But you can remember the name Jordan and you can remember pmrroofing.com. If you happen to be sitting down and you're anywhere in that 121 corridor, then just call or text Jordan right now at 214-957-0839. This was a really significant hailstorm. Uh, I know I know Quentin, uh, the owner over at PMR, was was saying in some ways this is uh, the most one of the most significant hailstorms he's ever seen. You want to comment on that at all, Jordan, or just kind of let yeah? Uh, we, he and I were talking about that. We actually had a a team event uh, yesterday that we had scheduled for a long time at the Ranger game where um, and we were talking about uh, all of us and this is the biggest hailstorm that I've seen in 12 years since I've been doing this and meaning the biggest as far as the Plano and Allen are so dense with homes you know we had a big hailstorm that came through in 2012 in Dallas that was like Lakewood and Swiss Avenue and over there but uh, not nearly as densely populated in my opinion as this Allen and Plano. So there were so many folks that were affected. Um, like I said, uh, pretty wild to see cars totaled and uh, windshields, you know, windows broken and, and, and all of that kind of stuff. And so um, just a whole lot of folks that were affected in the Collin County area. Yep. And for the sake of time, I want to make two more really quick points and then we got to jump. But number one is this is about more than just your roof, right? You're talking about cars and garage doors and fences and gutters and greenhouses, windows, all these other things. And you guys can help with all that, right? Yes, absolutely. We'll assess all of that damage when we're there. We take pictures uh, and then we'll work, uh, you know, alongside your insurance adjuster to make sure all those things are covered. And then we have really great relationships with folks that do all of those that you just mentioned that will uh, are more yeah. than happy to get you taken and care And so the, the last point is it's not a selfish thing for a roofer to say. It is a smart first step to talk to the roofer before the insurance company, correct? That's correct, yep. And so there's a number of people in Allen that I looked at their roof the last few years that had P-sized hail a couple of years ago, and I told them, you know, it's not enough damage, let's wait. Uh, it's not a matter of if, it's when you have another hailstorm, and here we are, and a number of folks said, hey, you told us to call you when we had bit more hail. And, um, and so, that you know, if you're on the outskirts of some of those areas that we had mentioned, the Allen, Plano, the 121, there's a possibility that the hail was not big enough to damage your roof. So uh, we definitely want to assess that before you file an insurance claim. And and what you protected them from was a a, an, a claim that was not to their benefit, right? Uh, a minor repair claim or having to pay a deductible without getting your roof replaced or, or just gunking up your insurance report, your, your, your insurability, your, your worthiness with the insurance providers, all these things that could cost you down the road. Uh, a good roofer will tell you, by the way, a bad roofer will always tell you you need a new roof because they want to sell you a roof. A good roofer will tell you, hey, now's not the time or, or this is cheaper to repair than to replace or you don't need that. This isn't severe enough to cause you any problems, that kind of deal. And so Jordan and the team over at PMR Roofing will do that. They'll look you in the eye, shake your hand, uh, help you with what you need and advise you what you don't need. And that's why they just put a roof on my house. That's why Jeremy from our team has them file, help him with the claim on his house and, and their windows and all sorts of other aspects of, of their property. And you should too. So if you're in that 121 area, 
you need to call 214-957-0839. Otherwise, feel free to text 214-957-0839. That'll get you straight to Jordan. Jordan Collins, Vice President over at PMR Roofing. And if you forget that, pmrroofing.com. pmrroofing.com. Thanks, Jordan. I wish we had more time to talk, but I know you got to jump up on a roof for one of our clients, and I'm sure there's there's more to come. Uh, we've been calling our clients, past clients, friends, and neighbors in that area this week and just saying, hey, are you taken care of? Uh, getting them connected with you guys and making sure that they're getting tarps over those, uh, you know, vents and skylights and things that could cause more damage if we get some more weather. So we appreciate you, buddy. Uh, thanks so much for having me on. Enjoy the rest of the day. You got it. Take care, buddy. Awesome. I love it when we get to talk to our friends in the industry, our friends who take care of us and take care of our clients. So we always appreciate the guys over at PMR, pmrroofing.com. Now, if you are thinking about buying or selling this summer or really any time in the next 12 months, we need to talk. We've talked a lot on this show today about how you cannot begin to prepare too early, but most people wait too late. We have a seven-step proprietary marketing system to help you get that home sold over the average price and under the average time, and we guarantee to do it. We have a 13-point buyer system to help you buy safely, affordably, and at a reasonable pace for you and your family and your finances. And we talked about if you haven't had someone check your roof in the last couple of years, you're crazy. And based on what happened this week, you need to have that checked out right now. You also need to know your property value. And you can do that by just going to toddtremontyteam.com. On that homepage, you can click the sellers tab or the home valuation tab. You can find out what your house would sell for, uh, what your, your, your tracking historical levels of home equity are, and you could even click a button and get a cash offer very, very quickly. All that happens at toddtremonteteam.com. If you're thinking about buying or selling this summer, if you want to know your home value, all that starts at toddtremonteteam.com. But if you are ready to get a question answered, even if you're not buying and selling, I want you to call or text 214-310-0008. 214-310-0008. You should have that saved in your phone by now. You can call us even if you're not ready or wanting to buy or sell. We want to add value in your life. If you bumped into us at a festival, at the grocery store, or anywhere, we want you to be able to say, man, you guys have been so helpful. We want to earn your trust. We want to add, we believe that's our God given calling is to use our gifts to add value in the community. And if you need to buy or sell down the road, maybe we'll make some money. But even if we're not directly earning a commission, it is our joy, it is our purpose to use our God given gifts to make your life better, to add value, to help home ownership be a real asset to your family, not just a financial asset, but a lifestyle asset. Todd Tremonti Team. 